we have been designed, first of all, like this is our digestive system. So this is the main channel of elimination. So the digestive system of a human being is 12 times the length of its spine. And what makes dif like a difference in between like animals living in the wild is always the length of their bowel compared to the length of their spine. So for example, if you look at animals living only, like eating only meat, they have a very short bowel. They have, they have about seven feet of bowel because the intelligence knew that meat rots extremely fast when the body is hot and humid. So we are mammals, we have a hot and humid body. So they have a very short bowel so that they can eat, digest and eliminate well, like very fast. So they have about seven feet, we have 32 feet. The body has an amazing ability to heal. If you break a bone and you put a cast on that limb, the cast doesn't heal you. The bone has the innate ability to reconnect. The cast just holds it still. If you cut your, your hand, a Band-Aid doesn't heal you. It just protects it while the skin closes up on its own. And the body has the ability to heal from inflammation and pain, but it will never do it if we keep the insult happening. If, if I wiggle that bone around, it'll never heal. If I keep picking at that cut, it will never heal. And if I'm putting the foods into my body that cause the inflammation to happen, you can never heal. One of the main driving forces for inflammatory reactions is the state of the chemicals in the tissues that are summoned up by the inflammatory reaction. And those chemicals, those molecules are in the tissues largely from what the person is eating. And if the person is eating a diet high, you say, in animal products, meats, and dairy products, uh, these substances have a particular type of fat called arachidonic acid. And arachidonic acid turns into a very powerful pro-inflammatory molecule, <clears throat> prostaglandin 2, that really drives inflammatory reactions. So if a person has been eating a meat and dairy-based diet and their tissues are full of arachidonic acid, when the stimulus comes to set off inflammation, they get a huge inflammatory reaction and the, com and the pain component of that uh, can often be devastating, be crippling. The reason why people go into like chronic pain is because the way they eat, they eat way too much meat, way too much animal protein, which is extremely like acidic. So when you look at all the wildlife, when you look at all the animals like living in the wild, and you're looking at their inside to see which one have been designed like a bit like human beings. And there is one that have been designed identical to human beings, and it's all the primates. So the small monkeys, the big gorillas, when you look at their inside, it's always 12 times the length of their bowel compares to the length of their spine. So we've been designed to eat like, like uh, primates. And primates are eating 50% fruits. So fruits are very alkalizing and fruits have a lot of astringent. Astringent is cleaning the lymphatic system. Then they eat 46% vegetables, which is building the blood and making the body alkaline. So 96% of their diet is alkaline forming. And then they eat 4% protein. We eat 42% protein. 